a Democratic politician getting caught up in controversy? Color me surprised. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Susanna Gibson, a Democratic politician from Virginia who is currently running for a coveted House seat who got caught up in some controversy with her husband. Now, let me explain what happened here in plain English. So Miss Gibson and her husband were on this website where they engaged in certain sex acts with each other in exchange for tips, meaning money, cash, loot, dinero. On the website, they had about 6,000 followers. I don't know if that's a lot or a little for that particular website, but apparently from what I'm reading, they are very popular. Now, here is the thing. This was not a long time ago. This is recent, as recent as September of 2022, just last year. And that's when she formally announced. Now, I don't know if she announced that she was going to run and then stopped the website or she was kind of double dipping. You understand? Like maybe she announced but needed a little bit more money. So she was still on there with her husband, all this, that, and the third. Now, you guys are going to ask me, Hey, ABL, where is the video? I want to see it for research purposes. I will never play a thing like that on YouTube. And I've not really seen a lot of it. I saw a short clip and she was fully clothed, but you could tell it was her and her husband and they were doing some, some freaky stuff. But I would never link to that because she's trying to talk about legal action. Oh, it's revenge porn. Listen, this is not revenge porn. It may be embarrassing for her, but it's not revenge porn because... From my understanding, and if you guys are legal experts, y'all, please, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But I think that term refers to when someone posts something of you that you didn't want to get out that was never public. If you go to Los Angeles and film a scene and get paid for it, and then a year later somebody says, hey, ain't that you right there on minute mark, three hours and 45 seconds with a dog outfit on, ain't that you? You can't say, oh, that's revenge porn. No, no, no. You got paid for it. You signed up for it. You did it voluntarily. You put it out there publicly. That's not what that is. Now, before I go any further into it, let's go ahead and um, look at some information. This is her right here. Okay, Susanna Gibson, standing up to special interest. Okay, you see her with the nurse outfit on, and then she got the little pooch right next to her. Okay, vote Susanna for delegate, et cetera, et cetera. And she has two kids, of course, with her husband. But that's not necessarily abnormal. We'll talk about that a little bit more a little bit later. And that's her. Now, let's get to this particular news clip. Of course, I will link to everything that I can legally, obviously, for you nasty boys out there in the description. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Start tonight with stunning allegations that the Democratic candidate for a House of Delegates seat performed online sex acts with her husband for money. That candidate is Susanna Gibson, who is running against Republican candidate David Owen in the 57th district, which includes parts of Henrico and Goochland counties. John Hood joining us live tonight with what Gibson is saying and what it could mean for the race. Fill us in here, John. And just for you guys who are not from Virginia, not familiar with the area, uh, Henrico and Goochland, that's like right outside of Richmond. Um, and no, this is not where Anthony Oliver lives. He lives in Farmville, which is about an hour and some change away, an hour and a change to the west. Hey, Kurt Jasmine. Well, the Washington Post was first to report about several videos. It says so it shows Susanna Gibson and her husband performing sex acts online. Now, this evening, Gibson would not confirm or deny about the online activity, but calls the whole thing an invasion of privacy. With less than eight weeks until Election Day, things are stirring up in Virginia's 57th House District race after videos of Democratic candidate Susanna Gibson have come to light of her having sex with her husband on a live website called Chatterbait. According to the Washington Post, who first reported the videos, in the live broadcasts that were recorded and put on another website, Gibson asked viewers for tips to perform certain acts. The post was tipped off by a Republican operative who has said to have had no ties to Republican candidate for the district, David Owen. In a statement, Gibson says in part, quote, This is an illegal invasion of my privacy designed to humiliate me and my family. 
It won't intimidate me, and it won't silence me. My political opponents and their Republican allies have proven they're willing to commit a sex crime to attack me and my family because there's no line they won't cross to silence women when they speak up. For her to say that is very, very inappropriate because check it out. You did these things publicly. This is a public website. You can't say that you posted something online for the whole world to see for money, by the way. And then when somebody says, hey, I saw that, but you did. Ain't that you? You're going to call it a crime? You put it out there publicly again. It'll only be a crime if somebody hacked your email, broke into your house and stole some pictures and videos or something like that. It's not illegal to show something that is publicly available. That's not what that is. All right. If I go outside right now and I start acting the fool, cutting up, carrying on, and somebody records me, I can't be like, oh, you invaded my privacy. You were outside. You were in public. We all could see you. you. You don't have privacy in public. That's not how that works. If you want privacy, go to a private place. If you want privacy, then don't upload yourself and your husband doing certain things for money online. Like one of the things was peeing. That was a request, peeing. And then there was also some backdoor entry. I don't want to get too graphic, so I digress. Gibson, a nurse practitioner and mother of two, says this won't force her out of the race. Her campaign attorney told The Post the leak is a crime, calling it revenge porn. If you look at the numbers, the parties are almost tied there. In a good Republican year, they carry it by a little bit. In a good Democratic year, they carry it by a little bit. Uh, you just don't know. Larry Sabato with the UVA Center for Politics says in the age of Donald Trump, it's hard to say how this will impact voters. 10, 20 years ago, this would have eliminated a candidate from consideration. Today, I doubt yeah. it has all that much effect. Sabato says years ago, parties would have tried to cut ties with the candidate, but already Democrats have turned to push for donations to Gibson's campaign fund. I, I just don't know. I think we'll have to watch and see, but it's not disqualified. What I don't want to see is the rise of the cam girls and whatnot trying to run for office. I, I don't want to see that. I, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to see campaign ads of scantily clad women. Uh, I, I just don't want to see it. I, okay, I, I want to kind of get back to regular, everyday normie. Like, every now and again, I want to be a normie too and just live in a normie world. I don't want to see cam girls um, posting on their campsites ads talking about vote for me. No, no, no thank you. Okay, no, I'm nothing against anybody what they do. If you are an adult, hey, that's your business. That's not my cup of tea. But, I mean, come on, man. Like, a politician, no thank you. That much is obvious. And Gibson's Republican opponent, David Owen, says, quote, My team and I found out about this story today like everyone else. I'm sure this is a difficult time for, for Susanna and her family. How soft is that? Is, it, is that? is that the opponent? Is that the opponent talking about it's a difficult time? A difficult time, she posted these things publicly. What are you talking about? It ain't like she had something stolen. For, that's a completely soft statement to make. But I guess if you're in that particular area of the country, um, of Virginia, maybe it's kind of soft and lefty. You got to say things like that. And I'm remaining focused on my campaign. So, so there you have it. Susanna Gibson and her husband on Chatterbait. Uh, look. I'm I'm gonna I'm just wrap it up. I'm gonna close. If you go to one of these cam girl sites, you go to OnlyFans, Chatterbait, something like that, even Twitter, now known as X, and you post things publicly, and you get paid for it, you can't cry later talking about oh, it's this is revenge porn. It's being used against me. You put it out there publicly. Again, I could see if this was something private between you and your husband intimate moments that were not meant to be public but you put your intimate moments out there for the entire world to consume for anybody on the internet to purchase and as far as i know these uh chatterbait you got to go in there and see people publicly you, you gotta you, it's like, it's like you, you go and see who's on you go to their thing and then if you want to tip you can, you could talk to the person, interact with them. Now, I'm not saying I know from experience or anything like that, because I would never. I'm just saying that's what I that's what I read. Anyway, as I close, I want to say this. Um, shout out to whoever 
is watching this and understands what's going on. This is not um, revenge. This is not an invasion of privacy. This is somebody that posted something publicly and it came back to bite her. So if anybody out there wants to do OnlyFans, if they want to do Chatterbait or any kind of thing like that, any kind of adult modeling, be ready for what may happen in the future. If you want to be a, a political figure, if you want to be something else other than that, that can be brought up and used against you. It just, it is what it is. Don't cry about it when it happens. Figure out a way to deal with it in a way that makes sense rather than trying to accuse someone of a crime that obviously did not get committed. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on Miss Gibson and her chances of winning the race out there in Virginia? Again, this is a U.S. house. This ain't Virginia state politics. We're talking about she would go to D.C. Okay, she'd be a house rep right next to AOC, all them people. But whatever your thoughts on the whole thing are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Or maybe you don't. Half of me is like, I think we might be at the beginning of a day and age where you could be a cam girl politician. We might be there. Or at the same time, we might not be there. I think we have enough normies left to prevent this from happening. But if that particular district out there in Goochland, Henrico County, Richmond, if they are not really, you know, offended by this, then she might be able to win, which would be crazy. I don't think we've ever had a cam girl become a politician. But here we are, 2023. What's next on your bingo card for this year? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.